Hey there, Mukunda, old chap. You heard any good jokes lately? Here's one. A rabbi, a priest, and a Hare Krishna approach St. Peter in front of the pearly gates. And the rabbi says, okay, do I get in? St. Peter says, yeah, if you can spell dog. It seems that there's one of those, uh, I am not a robot test to get into heaven. So the rabbi says, D-O-G, and he gets in. And the priest says, do I get in? And St. Peter says, sure, to spell cat. So the priest goes C-A-T, and Peter lets him in. And then the uh, Hare Krishna guy says, what about me? Am I allowed in? And of course, St. Peter says, spell the word chrysanthemum. Ha. <laughs> Well, you've always been ahead of the curve, Makunda, ahead of the curve. And here you are 80 years on April 10th, exactly one month ahead of me. You've always been one step ahead, Makunda, saying, hey man, have you heard this one? And spinning out a new Miles Davis tune or Lenny Bruce or some weird Japanese tuba music or calling in the middle of the night to say, hey, Sam, you got to meet this Swami guy. He's so far out, man, the real thing. You brought the Swami to us, Mukunda, you did. And you changed our lives forever. Born in the darkest of ignorance, you brought the torchlight of knowledge to me. I opened my eyes to eternity. And for that, Mukunda, I will never be able to thank you enough. And have we laughed, huh, Mukunda? The pranks we've pulled, the characters that have tickled our bones. I still crack up remembering the Swami quietly telling you to please remove your cat from his bathtub in San Francisco. Or the look on your face when we presented the Swami with that first little statue of Jagannath, and he said, bow down, bow down. <laughs> uh, you always had me on the floor with your perfect imitations. Makunda of that surfer guy, Bob Beach in San Francisco, or Mr. Balfour at the Chartered Bank of London. I say, Mr. Grant, your account with us is a bit of a sticky wicket. <laughs> or Prem Sayal, or Pandit Trika, or Mr. Black, or Mr. Savage, or Mr. French, or Perry Como, or Elvis Presley. You could lampoon them all, Makunda. Well, what about that time you chased that Army Special Forces guy down Bahnhofstrasse in Zurich? and tackled him to retrieve my precious briefcase. And remember the United Appeal for the Dead scene in the Kentucky Fried movie, take little Johnny to the baseball game. Or when I visited you in Oz, us throwing rocks from your deck at the kookaburra birds to make them shut up. Or that serene look on your face as you held that little koala bear in your arms at the zoo, a look that also said, okay, let's just get this over with. <laughs> I've still got that photo. 10,000 laughs we've shared, Makunda. How many more laughs have we got to go? Maybe in Vaikunta, huh? Or at least you'll be laughing there with Krishna and the boys. I'm not so sure I'll make it this time around, but my deepest desire is to be with you again with Srila Prabhupada somewhere, laughing our heads off. You've always been my hero, Makunda, and I hope you're doing fine down there in Oz. I'll pop around to see you one of these days. Adios. All glories to Srila Prabhupada.